Hey, what's up? My name is Salaman. Welcome to the second edition of Track Feedback, whatever you want to call this. Let's dive right into the first one. The first one is by Hardgrex, untitled 4th September Hardgrex Better Version, not MP3. Progressive house, I like it. Uh, no, the melody is really cool in this one, in the drop, and also I really like the breaks. The breaks again could use a vocal, which was the case already with like most of the tracks in the first episode as well. So definitely try to get a vocal for this one. That would that would that would make the track really even better. So. Again, melody is great, but uh, mix down still needs a lot of work. It has a lot of low mids and it's like really muddy sort of. So I would definitely try to kind of get rid of some of those 200 hertz frequencies around that range. Like, I don't know, from like 150 to 3, 400 or maybe even higher. And yeah, I just listened again to it. And what I forgot to mention is also like in the second half of the drop, you added some more sounds, but I would remove them because they sound off key. I don't know. They don't really complement with the rest of your elements. So I would just leave them out to be honest or try to add something else to it in the second half of the drop. And also in the build up, I would remove that synth or whatever you implemented there. It also sounds a bit off key, but the, the idea is definitely strong and definitely try to finish this one and send me a new version of it. Let's move on to the next one. This one is by BSK and it's called Strings. Again, progressive house, which is great because it's my favorite genre as well. Genre. <laughs> I also think this is a great idea. It's a great melody. The vibe in the break is cool. I really like that vocal which you added. This like ambient background vocal. I also here would be cool to have maybe like a main vocal with proper lyrics. Yeah, but overall, I also think with this one, it sounds a bit too muddy. So especially in the drop, I felt like the leads were too loud. So I would definitely try to decrease the volume of them a bit so that the rest just has a bit more space and that it can breathe. In the breaks, I thought the strings were a bit too upfront maybe. They were a bit too clashing with the rest, I think. And also uh, I would maybe try to remove some of the sub of the kick drum in the breaks. Yeah, but besides that, also a great track and sent me an updated version of this. Moving on to the next one. This one is by Strux called Belief.
We got loads of progressive files in this episode. Also, again, I really like the melody of this one, but I feel like just as the other tracks, this one needs more work in the mixing, especially in the drop this time. So I would try to maybe give the bass line a bit more side chain so that the kick has a little more space and maybe also I would decrease the volume of the leads with this one as well a little bit and also I would try to maybe give the chords a bit more space because right now it's all a bit yeah harsh and the elements don't have really any space to breathe properly and in the breaks I thought the vocals were a bit too roomy due to the reverb so maybe decrease a little bit of that reverb or maybe change the type of the reverb that you gave the vocal and I also feel like in the breaks the vocals have a bit too much high mids high so I would try to give those vocals a bit more body by boosting the lower mids maybe a bit and uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one Let's move on to the next one. So this one is by Brody called Forbidden Island. <laughs> I feel like in this one the piano is a bit too upfront, so I would definitely decrease the piano in the break so that that saxophone or whatever it is has a bit more space. But let's check out the rest. a bit more like tropical vibe in this one also really like the style of this one the vibe but i feel like in the second break it got a little bit too loud louder than in the drops actually so that is definitely a problem which you will need to fix in this one and just in order to make the drop hit a little harder and also in the drop i felt like the kick drum was a little too soft maybe yeah i feel like the drop lacks a bit of sub or bass in general and also i feel like the bass line and the chords aren't really nailed this time so i'll definitely try to maybe remake the chords and the bass line to make them suit your melody more to just make it a little better because musically i think it's not nailed yet so i'll try to work on those points musically but also like production wise and uh, if you do that you will also have a pretty cool track there let's check out one more for this episode this one is by anurek anurek i don't know um called inner <laughs> This one I really like the approach of not having the kick drum playing like that fall to the flow rhythm straight. So this is what I really like but other than that it needs a lot of work I would say because like musically there isn't something which is really interesting or which is like catchy. So I would try to go back to the melody and just restart the track from that to be honest because I feel like 
the melody is not there yet, so in, it just production-wise, it wouldn't make any sense to kind of fix anything there. So I would just try to go back to the melody and um, improve a track from there. So that's already it for today's episode. If you would like to submit your track for the next one, just send them to djsilverman at gmail.com and also include your Instagram so that I can mention you in this video. And I hope you liked it. Make sure to leave a comment with your feedback on the tracks and on this video. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next video. Bye.